in this part of video, I will move on after you complete the cell library of the new node. I will move on to create the DGN library or reuse the DGN library and modify to create a new element template, feature symbology and feature definition. First, I will open File Explorer. For the case in my last video, I'm using MLWA design workspace. So I will go to the path to store the feature definition teacher library for the MLWA design. I can go to C drive, program data, Bentley, open row designer CE 10.11. Configuration, Workspace, MLWA Design, Standards, DJN Library, and Feature Definition. And this is the existing DJN Library to store the feature definition symbology for the MLWA Genage. So I will back up this DJN Library. I change the extension of the DJN library. Okay, once there is a backup, I'm going to modify this existing DJN library. I can go to Open Road Designer and then using MLWA Design Workspace and open a new project <coughs> work set. Then I open that DJN library. After we open the DJN library, we have to do first create the element template for the new structure. I can go to Element Template Manager. And expand my existing file and navigate to the Genage nodes. And you can see here there's a lot of different kind existing uh, generation node and I will create my new element template like here I create a new element template group I name it custom node and I will reference to the existing node maybe street gully bgt 1200 I will copy all existing element template for this node to my new custom node element template group. So I paste it here. After you paste the element te template, you can modify it for the plain element template. I will select my new cell. So this is the cell for the for my custom node one plan. And for profile, I don't need to modify the cell because it is only level color, lifestyle and night weight defined. For the 3D top element template, I will modify the active cell to my custom node one top cell and do the same to define custom node one bottom for the active cell for the 3D bottom element template. After the element template has been created, we will move on to modify to create a new feature symbology. I can go to the Explorer and expand Open Road Standards and then expand my existing file and go to Feature Symbology. Expand the Feature Symbology. There's different type of symbology. We have to create a new point feature symbology. So expand point nodes and then go to 
stormwater node. Again, I will make use BGT1200 as a reference. So I copy this pawn symbology and then click paste. Then I will create a, I can rename this new pawn symbology to custom node one. Next, I can modify the plan element template to the one I just create called custom node one and then plan and do the same for the profile. I can modify the pointer to my new create custom node and profile element template. Next, I will create the new solid feature symbology. Expand nodes and storm water node again. Then I will copy the BGT1200, right click copy and then paste. I will have a new element template and name it custom node one. For this solid feature symbology, I will modify the 3D top template to my newly create custom node top template and also do the same to the bottom part pointing to the custom node 3D bottom template. Once the symbology has been created, then I will create feature definition. Then I will expand the feature definition Change nature and utilities and go to nooks and I expand stormwater nooks and then change nature. There's a lot of different existing feature definition and I can create a new category under change nature nooks to store my custom nodes. So I right click new category. I name it custom node. And I will create a new feature definition for my new node. I will copy the existing one. Maybe I select street gully BGT1200 right click and copy. I name it to custom node one. Then I right click custom node one and select cut and then select my new category and right click paste. So the new feature definition will be created here. On the properties of this feature definition, I will modify the feature definition and the name set, for example, CN, maybe CN01, and this will be the prefix name of my custom node and then I will modify the symbology. First is the point feature. I expand and select the one point symbology I just create I call custom node one 
and also for the solid features I will change the solid feature to custom one solid feature symbology okay so we finish to create the feature definition then I can save the DJ library and I remove the blending of the file then I can exit this file by closing it next I will create a new drawing and place the custom node I just create I can go to the same web space website and then select to create a new file I create to this folder I name it Chinglish placement R1 I select the 2D zip file and save then I try to create a new node I select the drainage and utilities workflow and go to layout and place node you ask me to create a database I click yes then I place the node again then I go to feature definition here I can select the group I just create I call custom node expand it custom node one okay then I place here and give the rotation and let's have another node here and next I will place the conduit select this conjure feature definition and the diameter be 450 millimeter and I can connect to the center of the node to this to this node then I can have a look on the 3d view So this is my new created drainage node.